for this week's video. This week is a very exciting vlog because me and Cody are going to our first ever event. So this will be the first event for me and the first event for her. Obviously she's five, um, so this will be our first event together. And I'm nervous, I'm, I'm nervous but excited. I'm nervous not because I want to win. I obviously, I don't expect to even come anywhere near the top 20 or anything like that. I'm just nervous because I want her to have a good day. Um, hopefully be able to do all three phases. Um, I'm just nervous for her really. I don't want her to get stressed out. That noise you can hear is her throwing herself around because she knows that she's going somewhere. So yeah, I'm excited and nervous. Fingers crossed it all goes well. We are competing at Bold Heath Equestrian Centre in the BEATT division. I don't know what section we are. Um, I should probably know that, but I'll have a look at all that in the car on the way. I've just spent the morning getting Cody ready, plaiting her up really badly, by the way. I can't plait up to save my life and her mane's really thick, so they look like big golf balls on her neck. Um, but I thought it's actually, it'll do just for her first event and, and just for the dressage. I'll, I'll probably take them out between the show jumping and the cross country. Just wait for mum to get hitched up and bring the trailer around and then Cody really will go crazy because she'll know that she's going somewhere for definite. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop her travel boots on now and then I'll get her loaded up and I'll probably catch up with you in the car. These are the hideous plaits that I was telling you about. Look at the size of them. <gasps> we'll definitely pull your mane beforehand next time, I promise. She's got her tail plaited too, but obviously that's in her guard. Um, I've just popped her travel boots on um, and then we'll get you on, won't we? Pretty girl. You're going to a pony party. Are you gonna behave? Probably not. <laughs> Cody's on the box. There she is. And we're just leaving now. Yay! See you soon, Cody. Okay, so it's saying we're about half an hour away. Um, we will be a little bit longer than that because obviously we're towing. Um, so I'm just going to get my hair sorted. Um, I've like brushed it. So I'll get that ready so it's all ready to go when we get there. Um, our dressage is at 12.42 and then we've got a bit of a gap between our dressage and our show jumping. So our show jumping is then at 18 minutes past two and then not a lot of time between our show jumping and cross country because our cross country is at 10 to 3 so there's about half an hour in between there. So I might not be able to film in between there because it'll be quite a quick turnaround and we'll need to get Cody's studs back in because the show jumping is actually on surface. So our dressage test will be on grass and we'll have her studs in for that. Then we'll have to take them out so she can do her show jumping on surface and then we'll put them back in quickly to do her cross country back on grass obviously. So it might be a bit stressful and a bit rushed but I will try and film as much as I can and show you all. There's so many horses here. Well, so Seems pretty chilled. Hey, beautiful. She looks so big like that. Skinny men. Oh god, them plaits are horrendous. <laughs> Just tax Cody up. I've done all of her studs. It was really stressful actually because the horse next to us was like kicking off in its box and the steward had to come in all sorts. So that was stressful. But luckily Cody was really good and she behaved and her studs are in. Are you gonna have a wee? Okay, there. Um, my trainer's gonna meet us shortly. Um, I'm gonna get on her about half an hour before her test, give her a warm up, let her have a look everywhere. And then fingers crossed our test isn't too atrocious. I'm, I'm just hoping that we get round. I literally don't care if she has a head in the air, head in the air, just being really tense as long as, as long as we get round and we're okay.
best baby horse ever. So we just did our dressage test. You will have seen it, hopefully. Did you video it? No. The dressage test. So you will have seen it. Um, and it wasn't perfect, obviously. Oh, that's not right. But we didn't expect it to be perfect. I don't know if I can rest you. Hang on. It wasn't perfect, but we didn't expect it to be perfect. It was just reasonable, presentable, and she was good and she felt good. So the plan now is we're going to take Cody's studs out and put her arena studs in um, just so that there doesn't get any dirt in her stud holes while she's waiting. And then when we go show jumping in about an hour, we're going to go show jumping in about an hour. Um, so during this time, I'm going to take Cody's plats out and walk the cross country course with my trainer, Barbara. I'll try and take you along, but obviously I'm going to be concentrating on the course. So um, I might not. But you'll see it, I hope. Cody's having a wee. <laughs> okay, I'm currently walking the cross country course. This, so this is fence number one, and I'm doing A2, so I'm following the purple circles or the purple jumps. God, it looks big. It'd be no good if we don't go over fence number one. It's meant to be this big. Okay. So, fence one. The 90s look gigantic. I don't know if they just look big because I'm on the ground. I'm usually I'm on Cody and Mum usually walks the, the jumps for me. But they look massive. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure when I get on Cody they won't look that big. And fingers crossed we'll be okay. Um, so there's jump number one is that roll top that I've just showed you. And then I come down through this almost chicane. So that will be interesting. I'll have to in, encourage her and let her know it's okay when we come through this little spooky bit. Um, luckily, they've had the B90s on this morning, so there's a path already for us. So, let's get walking, haven't I? This is the Pathfinder. <laughs> So she's, when I say path, Pathfinder, this means she's the first one out on the 80 course. She's doing very well, making it look easy. I don't think we're going to walk that way. <laughs> just walked my cross country course, just had a little look at the show jumping, I'm trying to work out the course, and now I'm back to Cody. I'm not good. I'm going to get her ready for show jumping. This is the phase that I'm most worried about. Yeah. Hello. So this is Cody's show jumping round and like I said before, um, this is what I was most nervous for because we don't have the most control whilst we're jumping. Um, so yeah, she had the first one down, um, mostly due to my poor riding to be honest. Um, second one she popped fine. She was on the wrong leg but I didn't want to try and correct her and confuse her so she was fine over the third. And then here she has a stop. This is because of the fillers. Um, at home she's fine jumping fillers so I don't know what it is, I think it's just the atmosphere, you can see to the left there was a lot of people watching as well, um, I think she was just a bit nervous and a bit wibbly wobbly and she felt very babyish but she popped it fine then so I was really pleased and all I was thinking is I just want to go cross country, please just get round, I don't care if you knock everything down, I just want to go cross country. Um, so here we're going faster and faster and less out of control, um, so I don't blame mum for kind of missing us there because she was probably panicking. Um, but we're going a little bit of control again around this corner and then we just get um, an extra half a stride in here to number seven. So we have that down too and then again a bit wibbly wobbly and babyish to eight. Um, but I was actually really happy with the way she jumped this double and finished um she usually always has doubles down because again lack of control but she popped that and i was really pleased and i was just so happy we could go cross country so you can see me here smiling and saying mom we're going cross country i feel like this video is just going to be of me um looking progressively sweatier and worse cody's just gonna jump in you will have seen it wasn't the neatest but we got round and i was very pleased with that i thought all of our cross country dreams were going to come crashing down and um, we would be eliminated doing show jumping and not be able to go cross country but we're going cross country. I'm just going to put her studs back in and then we'll make our way down to the cross country warm up. I think we're in in about half an hour just walking Cody around. I'm going to get on her in a minute all ready for 
cross country. Can't actually believe we've got into this phase. Even if we get to the first jump and she stops, <laughs> I don't care, we've gotten this far. So, um, touch wood, that's not gonna happen and we can go fully clear, which I highly doubt. But if we just get over the finish line or just come home in one piece, I'll be happy. So, wish me luck. Hopefully, I don't know where mum's gonna be able to stand on the course. There's not a lot of places you can film except the last fence. So hopefully we get to the last fence and then mum will get a video. I'm gonna go and get on. Next one to start, it's gonna be another five year old. Uh, the first ever event for both horse and rider. Adele McCady. Uh, rides this one. Broken and produced by herself, that's always satisfying. The five year old Chester on the way. Adele McCady and Cody, 38.3 their dressage. Really exciting when you produce something right from scratch. Even if they don't come and win first time out or anything. Uh, so satisfying because every step is progress. On they go then towards the second. Adele McCady and Cody. Relatively high head carriage. The jump jockeys always tell you that a low head carriage they'll never fall, but I always felt happier with a bit in front of me. So she's over the White House at six. Next away will be Charlotte's drawn with Chesterval. Uh, this one the next race also as well as Cody jumps the sheep feeder into the water. Chesterville and Charlotte Straw, number 228, 33.3, their dress high score. Go on, Mum! Cody, clear through the first of the water, so the third of the course behind us, she's sent out into the country to go down. Go on, Mum. Jay, yes. uh, getting hold of a lot of retired race horses. Some on recovery and then uh, retraining them for other functions. It's been a really successful program, the retraining race against it. Uh, obviously, had that recent slightly disturbing report. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so I've just had my hat tagged because they, for whatever reason, didn't do it before I set off, even though it should have done. Um, but I've had that done, and as you will have seen, we went cross country and I don't know if I think we went clear it was all a bit of a blur so I can't remember what happened and if she stopped and but I don't think she did I think she hesitated a few times but when but we'll see but I can imagine just being um too fast definitely but I'm thrilled I'll, I'll catch up with you in the in the car <laughs> it's a big yawn yeah she wants to get on you're a good girl you want to go on your trailer she does. and go home oh you're a good girl you're so good well, that was successful. I'm exhausted. I've had nothing to eat since then. Biscuits. I know, I've not. Well, I've not eaten since this morning. Okay. okay. So, we're on our way home now, and we can finally eat. I'm also having a pasta, and I've got a sandwich. We were meant to have these at lunchtime, but we were just too busy doing everything. And to be fair, I felt really sick. I couldn't even eat anything anyway. Um, so, we've not eaten all day. So, we're on the way home. We're having something to eat now. And overall, we had a really good time. We did all three phases. There was no massive dramas. Um, yeah, Cody could have been a bit better at times, but she's five and she's been an absolute superstar. When I came over the finish line, the last fence at Cross Country, I felt really emotional. Because obviously, well, if you've watched our channel or our Instagram, you'll have seen all the hard work we put into her. Um, I've broken her and produced her myself. We're not, um, this isn't our job, this is a hobby. She's our only horse. Um, oh God, the camera. She's our only horse. We don't have multiple horses that we produce. This is literally just our hobby, um, where all our money goes, all of our wage goes on her. So to have today go as well as it has and it finally pay off is a really nice feeling, especially coming over the last fence. So yeah, we've had a really, really good day. We've really enjoyed 
enjoyed it. I don't think we'll be rushing back too quickly because it is absolutely exhausting. I don't know how people do this every weekend with multiple horses. We are literally exhausted. We haven't eaten um, and can't afford to do that all the time, to be honest. Um, lots of stuff. Everything's just been shoved back into the trailer. We've concluded that we need a horse box. So that'll probably be the next adventure at some point once we've saved some pennies. Um, but yeah, overall we've had a really, really good day and we're on our way home now. I don't know where we've placed or anything. Um, hopefully once I've found out those results then I'll let you know. But I hope you've enjoyed watching us. for so coming with us and experiencing our first vlog, our first event vlog ever, our first one day event. I also wanted to record today so that I could look back at it hopefully in a few years time once we've done a few events. Um, and it's all just kind of like a, um, a digital journal really, all of these vlogs. Um, I hope you enjoy watching them as well as, as much as we enjoy making them and yeah just use it to reflect on and look back at in a few years time hopefully so i'm going to end that video here i will put our results somewhere on the screen now hopefully we've we'll got them through not holding my breath for anything or in the top 10 and nothing of the sort i was just happy to get round come home in one piece and have a good day so yeah thanks for watching this week's video at Quines. i hope that you've enjoyed it if you did enjoy it then please make sure to like this video and to subscribe to our channel for more weekly videos and hopefully more event vlogs now please feel free to follow us on our instagram page our name is adele equine and i will pop that in the bio down below